Alright class, now we're going to learn how to do Gaussian elimination. Here we have three equations and our first step, which I've already done, is to convert the three equations into an augmented matrix. Basically, in an augmented matrix, you take one column, which will be your x's, you take the second column, which will be your y's, and your third, which will be z's, and the right side, some people call it constants, I like to call them solutions because it's easy to know what they are if you name them solutions. So what Gaussian elimination basically means is that you're trying to get this to be a 1, this to be a 1, this to be a 1, and you're trying to make these three all be zeros. So you have to add rows, you have to uh, multiply a row by a scalar value and etc. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do row 1 plus row 3. And that's going to be my new row 3. So we know our row 1 does not change. And we know our row 2 does not change. And our row 3 does because you're making a new row 3. So row 1 plus row 3 would be 1 plus negative 1 which is 0, 1 plus 0, which is 1, and negative 1 plus negative 2, which is negative 3, and 9 plus 2, which is 11. The next thing is to multiply 1 to row 2 and add it to row 3, making it your new row three so if you multiply row two by negative one you get zero negative one negative three and negative three and you know since you're doing nothing with row one it's going to be the exact same And row 2, for now, we're just going to multiply it by negative 1. But after you do your addition, row 2 goes back to how it was originally. Do not forget that, or else you will mess up. And we do row 2 times negative 1 plus row 3, which will be 0 plus 0, which is 0. 1 plus, or 1, negative 1 plus 1, which is 0 and negative 3 plus negative 3 which is negative 6 and 9 or sorry negative 3 plus 11 which is 8 so the next step since we have your final matrix for that addition you have you have your row 2 be back to the original row 2. Our next step is to multiply row 3 times negative 1 6 to get a 1 in this position. That way we'll have 1 1 1 0 0 0 and that'll be your new row 3. So you know your row 1 will be the exact same. Row 2 will be the same and row 3 would be 0 times negative 1, 6, which is 0. 0 times negative 1, 6, which is 0. And negative 6 times negative 1, 6, which is 1. And finally, 8 times negative 1, 6, which is negative 8 over 6, or if you reduce it, would be negative 4 over 3. So since we know that we have completed what our mission initially was, which was 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, we know that this is your x's, this is your y's, this is your z's. So we have z equal negative 4 over 3 as your first equation. I just took it from here. And 0x plus 1y plus 3z equal to 3, which is your second equation. And finally, we have x plus y minus z equal to 9.
So now we know what z is. We literally plug z in for our second equation. So our second equation would be 0x plus 1y plus 3, negative 4 over 3, equal to 3. So we have, since it's 0x, we just eliminate that. It doesn't matter to us. So we have y plus 3 times negative 4 over 3, which is a negative 4, because the 3's cancel out, equal to 3. And we do y is equal to 7, because you just add 4 to both sides. And finally, now that we know that z equals negative 4 over 3 and y equals 7, we can do x plus y minus z equal to 9, where x is unknown, our y value is 7, and our z value is 4 over 3, and that equals 9. So now we do x plus 7 plus 4 over 3 equal to 9. And instead of me doing a uh, common denominator and fractions, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of the fraction. So we have 3x plus 21 plus 4 equal to 27. And we have 3x plus 25 equal to 27. And we do 3x and we take, and we subtract 25 from both sides, which will leave us with 2, because 20, 27 minus 25 is 2, and we just do, and we divide 3 on both sides, and we get x equals 2 thirds. So our solution will look like this, negative 4 thirds, which is our z value, 7 which is our y value, and finally, 2 thirds, which is our x value. Hope you learned how to do Gaussian elimination. Thank you.